what's good? It's your boy Mist, and we're back on this YouTuber CFM. And today we have a good one for you, man. We're playing Fox Boy uh, with the Steelers again, but this time we're at home. And you know, honestly, I like part of me is like I don't really care if we win because I think that we're gonna clinch the first seed either way. But um, I think that if we win, we can get him to fall into the seed that we need him to be in, if that makes any sense. Um, we're coming off of two great back-to-back -back performances. Hopefully, we can keep it going at home. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a, we've had two great home games, so hopefully we can keep it going. But before we get into that, we got a dev trait to look at. A potential dev trait is on the line. Coach, have you watched the film last week's game? Oh, the film from last week's game. Okay. Uh, man, the secondary was locked down. It was the best game I've played in a long time. I really feel like I'm coming into my own, you know? Another game like last week, and man, I feel like I've arrived. Okay. Well, I mean, you had almost nothing to do with it, but uh, sure. Hold... <laughs> Hold the Steelers to less than 200 passing yards, which I don't think is even humanly possible uh, playing Fox Boy in seven-minute quarters. Um, or get Von Bell one interception, one forced fumble, tackle for loss, or sack. Um, which also, I don't know if that's even possible because I don't know if he even has any of those stats on the entire year. Um... So, yeah, we're going to get right into this, man. We're going to send him the invite. Hey, real quick, man, uh, while we're waiting for him to join, uh, I just want to let y'all know, man, over half of you guys that are watching this series that watch it regularly, uh, you're not subscribed to the channel, man. So do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. You never have to miss a game. Uh, we're, we're making a lot, a lot of juicy content. Um, a lot of good time, a lot of good content, man. I'm getting a lot of good feedback about it. Uh, and Hey, don't forget to hit that like button, man. It means a lot. Trust me. Uh, more than you know, man. So, uh, we gonna hop right. The next thing y'all see, I promise is going to be gameplay. You don't get halftime. We never get the halftime advantage against Fox. I don't know what it is. Even when we get it, we don't get it. <laughs> Yo, why would we, why would we both wear white unis? And this will make it into the end zone. Oh, this is gonna be. Let's go, baby. This is gonna be something. Let me. Let me. Why would we both wear white unis? So last run. time we played, man, uh, he was having a lot of problems stopping the run. So we're gonna try to give him a heavy dose of the run game. A heavy, heavy dose. Here's guys. And that, that was like the worst animation ever. <laughs> I literally ran backwards like 45 seconds longer than I wanted to. We'll punt it away. We'll punt it away. I feel like on a, on a going backwards, like we kind of have to punt it. And it's going to be returnable. No? Not even returnable, which is crazy because that went to the left a little bit. That's wild. I don't know if he did this to, like, mess with my partially color blindness, but this is really trippy. Oh, yeah, this is, like, they got us way goofy. Everything over the middle is us here. Good run. And this is like, I don't know if it's because it's storming here or what, but this internet is like bugging right now. I love how it wouldn't let me shoot the gap. Wow, wow, we couldn't shoot the gaps. Second in the third levels. You He's know, moving the ball pretty well. Spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Again, he finds an opening. And hey. finally taking He's moving it right along. Line. Oh, shoot. I was not paying attention. GG. GG. Now here's Snell. <laughs> 
not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. He switched the goal line pretty quick. Please don't be a screen. Dang. Dang. And the, the thing is, the guys I had that was supposed to be over there were on the right side. I was like, that's why I said don't be a screen. Because if he did anything over to the left, it was done. And Burrow going to throw again. Got a man open. It's Ross. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. John Ross with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away. From Nothing to even really say there. It's, I wonder how long it'll be till he adapts to that. Win in the defense's column. And it falls here. <laughs> oh, okay. The pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. I'm just saying that's not the first time he's thrown it to them. That's all I'm going to say. It's not the first time. Last week punted four times. I knew I threw that that one to the halfback that was questionable. But now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out. And now the ball's out. Dude, always. He's always fumbling. Back to back times, man. We played him and he's gotten a fumble off of a guy that's totally fresh. First catch of the game. And he'll give it here to his running back. You know, I think the ball's out. But aren't they? If and that, and that's that's not even any surprise to me that that, that, that fumble happened and went straight out of bounds. <laughs> off of our hands 47 times. Is well, it's a loss. I mean, you know, the Madden algorithms. It, it's been chalked up already. Clearly. Second and inches is oftentimes. An invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels it's like clearly been predetermined. Pick up the first down, but sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know. Oh my gosh! Down, that's exactly what they did. This oh, is ridiculous. All right. Well, like I said, man, I told you I skipped to the end. Here it was. We did end up throwing a pick, and it was a good lurk by him. And for us to lose by seven points means that the game is entirely all our fault, regardless of the cheese that occurred, um, regardless of the fact that he threw it to, like, 45 people that were double covered. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, he had a pretty good stat line. I had a pretty good stat line. Uh, passing was about the same. He was able to run the ball a lot, did a lot of just goofy, you know, jet sweeps and stuff, um, which is fine. I mean, we can lock that down pretty easily. Um, you know, but we'll, we'll save that for the playoffs. Um, if he was going to do the same stuff he did last time, I didn't have a problem doing any of that, but hey, new stuff, you know, we'll, we'll shut that down easy. Um, and he's not even, he's actually going to do it like once, once in the playoffs and then he'll be done with it. I already know what he's doing. Uh, receiving, you know, Dante Johnson, three touchdowns, that seam route that was killing us and we were just giving it up all game. Um, you know, we were kind of labbing something. Defensively, I'm not really upset at our performance. We were kind of labbing something on defense, but just the fact that he was able to just throw, like, repeatedly into double coverage, especially where, like, one of them was my user half the time, and I just wouldn't get animations. You know, kind of crazy there. Um, defensively for us, though, uh, like, again, like I said, you know, we're not upset with our defensive performance. A lot of good tackles, good tackles for loss. Um, you know, a lot of good, uh, that's the thing. Look, look at this. Only one pass deflection. Like we were putting a cloud flat and a seam flat in the same thing. And he would run an out route and still kill it. You know, just, just stuff like that. So it was like the, to further to only be, that's the thing. Like for there to not even be interceptions is one thing for there to only be one pass deflection. That wasn't even a pass deflection, by the way. My guy just didn't animate at all and just straight up ran into the receiver, and that's what caused the, the drop. So that literally wasn't even a pass deflection. Um, for there to only be that, it's just kind of crazy. Um, and again, you know, a, a fumble on a totally fresh guy catching the ball uh, the second time in a row that we played him. The exact same play, even. Um, and the exact same guy. Like, it, that's absolutely crazy. Uh, you know, no one there is laying the boom. Um, I mean, rushing, 
you know, we, we didn't even run the ball a lot, but we were able to pretty much do what we wanted when we wanted running the ball. Um, again, you know, we, we try to come out in some experimental dots and it worked. We got a touchdown out of it. And then we, you know, went to some other stuff. And again, we just kept coming out in the same play and he was coming, you know, regardless of what coverage he was coming out in. So, um, you know, when we see him in the playoffs, it's going to be 100% a different game. Uh, I, I actually am glad that he was able to win this the way he won it because I'm sure he's, he, he knows, you know, so, um, I'm sure he'll be back in the lab trying to figure out a way uh, to make this a a more. This is, I think, I believe last game it was a one possession game, which makes it even crazier. Like just the fact that, uh, you know, we we get robbed of these possessions with fumble turnovers and things like that repeatedly. And then we lose by the exact amount of possessions we get robbed by. Seems kind of crazy to me, man. Uh, That's all I'm going to say. But uh, all the credit, all the glory, everything goes to God. Without him, we wouldn't have a thing. So uh, I give him all the praise for everything that we do, man. Uh, if you guys like the content, leave a like. Uh, if you really like the content, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications, man. You don't have to miss a video. We make a lot of good stuff. And Fox Boys link is going to be in the description at the very top. Everyone else is in the CFM. Their link is going to be in the description um, somewhere at the bottom. They all make a ton of good content, man. If you like my content, you'll love theirs. Go check it out. It's a really good community. And at the end of the day, you know, we're we're all gonna, you know, we're we're gonna laugh and, and poke fun at each other and stuff like that. Um, you know, everyone, it's all love, a- every direction. So, um, I'll see y'all next time. Until then, I love y'all. Peace.